have no clue who you are, then they know who you are, then they like you, then they buy, they trust you, and then finally they buy from you, right? They'll buy from you because... Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how do you use a tool like active group user software to build your no like trust your KLT we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right, if you're going to be selling courses online, building, selling anything online, you need leads. You need leads and you need them to know, like and trust you. That's part of the basics of attraction marketing. We're going to talk about how you use active group user software for that. But before I do that, I want to remind you, if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the, the video at cis478.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and showing you a lot more than you can just, you know, hear from an audio. All right, so let's get right to it. Let me go ahead and share my screen and show you what this is all about. If you don't know what Active Group Users software is, well, it's basically a, a, a Chrome extension that you can use to get a list of users that are actually active in groups. Now, this is just a list that I'm working on right now, but you can get your own list and you install the extension by going to the Chrome store and adding it to your Chrome browser so you know requirement number one is you need to have a Chrome browser there's a couple other browsers that, are, that support this but really Chrome is the simplest one that you can use then you need to install the extension which is really just a click of a button to get it installed and afterwards you need to configure it to uh, know which groups that your target market are hanging out into right so first step is to get a list of the people that are actually posting and commenting in the groups right so after you've done that you're going to get a list like this now this list here is showing me that Aldo here and Jay-Z uh, ClickFunnels and Eli Gonzalez and Carlos Bonara and De DD right or right? these people are posting in the groups they and over time you're the tool is going to give you the who's the most active right right now I'm sorting by this column here which is the number of comments in the last 30 days so in this case we're seeing 133 for Aldo here we're seeing 74 for Jay-Z ClickFunnels 70 for Eli 68 for Carlos 57 for DD right so that's the number of comments that they're posting now you can use this this is besides the point of building your no like trust so what do I mean by a no like trust of your prospects so if you're new to online marketing to attraction marketing you might be not exactly sure what that means but the no like trust factor is basically kind of like a, actually let me get something that I have and bring it up to show you exactly what I mean by the no like trust factor so yeah so the no like trust ladder so this is kind of something I came up with it has to do with building rapport and growing your audience's trust in you and if you kind of think about it if you look at it like a ladder people going up this ladder they can't they can't get to the top of the ladder without going through the individual steps right so the no like trust ladder is all about understanding that to get a prospect to uh, buy from you they need to trust you right so this is one of the things that's taught in online marketing and personal branding that you need customers to get to the point where they trust you and the only way they'll trust you is that if they like you if they don't like you if they don't if they can, if they're not connecting with you if they don't don't feel a you know um a rapport with you they're not gonna like you right which means they'll never trust you you have to be liked before you get trusted right and they're not gonna know you or sorry they're not gonna like you if they don't know you right they have to know you right if they don't know you 
they're going to be like what I can't like you I'm not going to like you and I'm not going to trust you right but then they buy from you if they love you and know you and trust from you right so I mean if we look at how this works right so basically you're starting online you're building a business you're like they have no clue who you are nobody you mean sure your friends and family know but the people that are online that you're trying to attract to you by creating content by going to Facebook newsfeed by going to groups and all that stuff you're trying to get them to know who you are right that's what you want to do you want to go from they have no clue you know they have no clue who you are to they actually kind of know you they know you they've oh, I've seen that person around right I've seen them I've seen them around so that's you know you got to get to that point right they got to get to the point of knowing you right then they'll like you if they don't like you that's fine if they don't like you they're moving along they're going to they're not never going to be your prospect they're never going to be your customer because if they don't like you they're not ever going to buy from you but the ones that do like you they you know they get to the point where they eventually trust you and the idea here is that they're going up this ladder they're going up this ladder I know it's like a crappy little drawing here but just the idea here of the no like trust ladder it's it's a ladder that people have to go or stairs right you can say they're the stairs of of trust right the stairs of trust where you go up the stairs until you until you get trusted but you got to go up every single step right so this is just every rung so now how do you get somebody to go up the ladder what does that mean going up the ladder well going up the ladder in sales is basically an exposure so as you grow as they get to know you more and more they're basically getting an exposure from you so it could be you know it could be a, a post that they see of yours that's why leaders tell you you got to be posting regularly right it could be a message they get from you so yeah sure you could send messages but that you know you can't send a message every day to people that have no clue who you are because they're going to block you so you can't really you, you can't use a message as a, a constant exposure the only thing you can do is a post a comment um and maybe a reaction to their post on Facebook right so those are those are all like exposures to you as long as they see you right so I mean if you're if you're commenting on their stuff in the news feed and they don't notice that you commented on their stuff because they've got five, 50 other people commenting on their things and they just saw those other you know 10 of those people they might not see you right so you got to keep <coughs> doing the doing the activities so that at some point they start to see you and it becomes an exposure to you <coughs> so that's the idea you want you want your prospects to see you so how do you I mean okay I'm not going to go into active group users yet I kind of want to talk a little bit more about the next step of the no like what are exposures right exposures like I said are when they see you because in marketing in advertising if you don't realize this already advertising is all about exposures exposing people to your product exposing them to maybe your um what you're what you can do for them exposing them to um to you as a leader as somebody who can help them with what your pro their problem is right so that's all about attraction marketing right but you need to build on exposures in sales they know if they do an advertisement on tv um and they they and you see this ad for a car every single day for like you know a year you're you're automatically going to want that car I mean maybe you won't get it but you're going to feel like it's a car you should get because that's the commercials you saw all the time you didn't see any other commercials about any other cars and you'll automatically want that but if you're seeing and this is where you know this is where online marketing attraction marketing becomes more difficult is that your exposures that you're seeing if you're seeing ads for 10 different cars right on tv you're gonna be you're gonna have trouble you're not really gonna pick one unless one of them really speaks to you or something right but that's the idea with online marketing you kind of have to do that too you kind of have to reproduce the frequency and the um touch uh, att 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 attracting them through their emotions right so it could be 
person you they uh, they they like some of your posts or maybe that you you post about horses and they like horses right or you post about cats or dogs right and they they they're they're a cat lover or a dog lover right and they are going to connect with you because they see the kinds of posts you're posting or maybe they they're their grandparents and they love your kids or they're they're uh young parents and they they see your pictures of your baby whatever <laughs> so it's all about connecting with them through your content right so that grows their no like trust because their exposures to you and eventually they're going to go check your profile to see what you've got what you've got right so i mean that's the basics of attraction marketing the no like trust ladder right and it's basically you know like i said you go from they have no clue who you are then they know who you are then they like you then they buy they trust you and then finally they buy from you right they'll buy from you because they've gone up that ladder now what your job is is to get them to go up that ladder and that's by creating content and exposing them to that content right so how does active group users help you with that let's talk about uh how you would do it without active group users right so let's just uh let's just go to facebook here let me just give me a second all right so you know normally this is kind of what you do you know i'm not gonna say it's the wrong way to do things but it's kind of not the best way but this is what's taught because it's the easiest thing to do it's the easiest thing to understand and it's also the the thing that gets you some results over time if you're really consistent with it but it's not perfect and i'll tell you why in a second but first let's kind of talk about what you should be doing or what leaders are teaching you to do right so they're teaching you go through the news feed look at the posts on the news feeds react to them you know comment on them go and love this and comment you know this looks amazing right so i'm just gonna i'm just you know going through the feed i'm looking at these things i'm saying i'm reacting to these posts right i'm kind of engaging on them um and as i go through here i might comment on a few of them there's a few of my posts i'm gonna like one of this this and 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 uh, well i don't know why this does that right <laughs> it scrolls me back up if i do a reply i can say thanks and you know i'll reply to my own posts my own comments and i'll comment on the stuff that's in the feed and you know that's basically maybe you comment on the on the, um, <laughs> what's this eh? <laughs> and you comment on on stuff that and and what happens what does it what does it do right what does it do if you're on the news feed there's a couple of things first there will be some you know positives to this right so people uh, we'll see your um your face in their comments right they're going to see potentially your face in their notifications right they're going to see you there in their notifications that and those are exposures exposures to you so that's that's good right so then then what will happen though is that you're going to see the same post from the same well not the same post but you're going to see the posts from the same maybe 20 maybe maybe up to 40 friends around the 20 to 30 mark is is what you'll see you'll see the same post from always the same people right <coughs> sorry and you know you'll see a few new posts here and there but mostly you're going to see the same post from the same people and you're going to because you're going to be you're engaging on those people's posts right you're that's what you're doing right you're engaging on those people's posts and facebook sees oh look he's engaging on you know this person's post that person's post i'm going to show more of those posts because he's engaging on those posts right so facebook knows and facebook is like ah i'm gonna you know just show you the stuff that that i know you're probably gonna engage on because that's what facebook wants facebook wants to keep you on the news feed facebook wants to keep you there so that they can show you ads right as you can see as i'm scrolling down through here you're gonna see some uh, sponsored things right i don't know how, how how many before we get a sponsored thing but you see some ads here well there's an ad viagra i don't know why probably because my age <laughs> but anyways you'll see ads and you'll see other things right basically facebook wants you on the feed now the other thing that leaders tell you to do which is also you know a good thing but again it's not it i'll show you why uh, in a minute why it's not the best but you go to groups right and based on the groups that you're in you're going to see 
it's kind of like nowadays it used to be different than this but nowadays it's basically you've got a group feed and it looks exactly the same as a feed except it's all posts from groups that you're in right <clears throat> so you would do the same thing here you engage on these posts you comment on them you you know answer questions for people that ask questions right and that's basically the the basics of it right hey, this, this looks like the exact thing I bought that's weird haha <laughs> I bought this thing <laughs> But it's nothing to do with an ad. This is actually Dan Har Dan Havy that's posting this. I think it's kind of funny because I bought that the other uh, I don't know a month ago for my daughter's for my daughter's uh, computer table. Anyways, whatever. So yeah, you see this stuff here. You will comment on these things, and basically Facebook is going to keep showing you posts from the same five, ten, maybe twenty groups. I don't know how many. I never really because I haven't really done this myself too too much. <clears throat> but it's going to be the same post from the. But the posts from the same groups that you're mostly active in if you skip over some groups Facebook is going to know you're not interested in that group you might be in it but you're never commenting on any other group any of the posts from that group I'm going to show you less of those right so Facebook has that but the thing that happens is no matter how no matter what you're doing right if you're engaging on posts you are <clears throat> helping people to see you you're basically building exposures for them so that they start to notice you and potentially and this is kind of the secret right potentially you want them to go and check your profile out so that's why you have to have your profile set up and everything so that it they know what you're about they know what you how you can help them that kind of stuff right so <clears throat> if I go to my profile um just my own page my own profile right you can kind of see that I'm um, you know a bit of a, a DevOps if you know what that is uh, that's you know my job that you've got <coughs> some pictures here of some things a workshop thing other things photos and you also have a link right here that takes you to this HU demo which is basically what I'm promoting and this is kind of what I'm talking about right now the active group users software right <coughs> so this demo if you go there basically takes you to this uh, page AGU demo let me put the link here for you so this would be agudemo.com right so you take that basically you can actually come to see more about this software more about why you would want to use it but we're going to kind of talk about that but the thing too that you're going to get is you're going to get free 90 days if you come to this workshop and you're one of the first 20 to register every week uh this week or next week whenever you do see this right so definitely you want to go check that out and maybe you'll get free because you can start using the software for free uh but you don't get all the features um in the free trial right but the free 90 days is the full featured 90 day of it right all right so that's AGU demo all right so now now let's talk about let's actually talk about how you can use active group users software to help with this process so before I go there let's go back to the news feed right when I go to the news feed if I'm going here there's another problem with the news feed one of the problems with the news feed is that you never feel like you're done <laughs> you're looking at this okay you know I can come back to the newsfeed every like five minutes and it's going to be something new something new it's always going to be something new that I can comment on right all the time always 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 new right I can always come back to the newsfeed there's going to be something new for me to engage on and I'm going to feel like I'm never done right and that's what Facebook wants obviously but the thing is that you're not you're randomly engaging you're not deciding what to engage on you're letting Facebook decide for you so that's what the software lets you do it lets you decide what you're going to do so if I go to the list here I can see that these basically these names that are here right these are basically uh, uh, people that are actually active in groups so if you know if I go to Facebook there are people that are actually in these groups that I chose like I chose say for example which one I think I have probably click funnels is it in there well it's just well actually there's gonna be one right here click funnels group if I go to the group itself I can just click on the group name right there it'll take me straight to the group um wow look at that they even changed how the group is organized this I don't know what this stuff is but this is all new it didn't used to be like that but anyways it's a it's a feed and this is just the click funnels official group and that's one of the groups that I put in my in my software I said in active group users I told it go to this group find the people that are posting see Tim over here stay Stephen Cook uh, Chris 
Velardo, uh, Jenny Huang, Joey Jones. So these are all people that are posting in this group. So the software will give me these people in here, right? These names that are here, they come from other groups. You can see right here, ClickFilms Official, Digital Members, Ways to Make Money, Seven Figure Affiliate, Your First Funnel, Successful Meal, right? So all these are different groups that these, these, these posts were found in. But basically, the tool will get the, the list of users, right? So it'll give you this, this per now, if you're doing it yourself, this is, this is what it would look like. You would go in this, in this group here and you would click on their names, which would take you to their, to their group profile, which kind of shows you a few of the posts they've made and stuff like that. Right. Which is kind of cool, but you know, does anybody really have the time to go and do that? And the thing is that after you've done that, then you would click on these three little dots to go to their main profile. And then you would go to their main profile and see if they're actually posting on their main profile. See, he pinned the post on May 26, but his last post was yesterday, then another one from four days ago, another one from September 6. So he posts uh, once in a while. And the other thing you can see here is that I can actually comment and react to his post. Some people, they don't have them public, whatever. So you might be like, well, I'm, I just wasted time going to, you know, to Chris's profile because I can't comment on his stuff. So... <clears throat> with okay so now how does active group users help you with that with active group user software you will see that the list of prof the names that are here if i was to just click on this name right here it kind of pops up a, a summary of them right it kind of gives me a few other things right here shows me that i uh, last visited them 110 days ago and I visit them twice in 217 days. So I haven't really visited Marianne much, right? So chances are that she still has no clue who I am. But if I look at somebody who I visited more, um, let's see, let's see, Yolanda right here. So Yolanda, I can see that I visited her three days ago and I visited her 64 times in the last 581 days. As you can see from, from the list that's showing up right now, you see three days ago, 11 days ago, 18 days ago, 25, 36, 43, 74, et cetera, right? So I'm visiting Yolanda every, probably every six to 10 days, and I'm commenting on her posts. So, I mean, she, she is in my target market, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to become a prospect of mine or a customer of mine, but because... I'm engaging on her posts, she definitely, I can guarantee you that if she wasn't a friend, she's already a friend, but if she wasn't a friend, she would be like, I wonder what, who this guy is. She would actually probably go check my profile and see what I'm about and possibly comment on my things and possibly even reach out to me about stuff. But here's where the cool part is. If I decide to send a message to Yolanda after seeing her, visiting her 64 times, there's quite a bit of a different reaction than just randomly sending a message to people, right? If you just randomly select, like say I go to the groups here. Let's go, oh, I should have. If I go back to the group, right? And I just look at this and I decide, you know what? I'm going to message Timothy here. I mouse over him. I can click on message and send him a message. And then I can go to Chuck, click him and send him a message. I can go to Josh right here, mouse over, send him a message. Seems like a such a great strategy, right? These are people that are, you know, in click funnels. They're, of course, they're interested in building a business and they want to hear from me, right? So if I'm trying to build a business, trying to, maybe I've got an affiliate product. I think they'll like whatever. I can send them messages and messages and messages and I'm going to get sales, right? <laughs> well, it doesn't exactly work like that. Yeah, sure, some leaders will tell you, go ahead and do that and you're going to get one response out of like 100 or out of 200. So like maybe, you know, one or maybe half a percent will reply. But I can guarantee you, 100% guarantee you that if I message these people that I've visited, see this number that's here, 25, 38, 38, 26, 22, 20, 21, 64, 10, 60, 82. So that's the number of times I've visited those profiles. And the number right next to it is how many comments. So 108 comments, 46 comments. Oh, no, reactions, sorry. The second row is the, is the comments. So 44, 76, 35, 32. So I can guarantee you that the people that have seen, 
you know 30 or 40 that I've commented on 30 or 40 of their posts if I send them a message I'm going to get a lot better than 1% res response probably going to be like 50 to 80% response at the very least obviously you don't want to spam them still but if you're sending them a message to kind of get to know them they will respond because they're going to be like oh I've seen this guy or this gal in my notifications I've seen their posts they they say nice things about my posts you know whatever they're they're already feeling warm towards you right they're not you know necessarily ready to buy right away but <laughs> they would definitely be more ready so this is how you use this tool so you get the list you visit the profiles and it records how many times you visit their profiles and then you can start there's a there's sorting and everything else you can do in here that you can then find the people that you visited at least x number of times that you've commented at least x number of comments that kind of stuff and you can actually then reach out to them and you can even like if I I can I can even do that here if I go in here and let's say Sean I can actually send him a message I can say right here what where he is in my lead status status and that way I know like if you look at this list right here you can see how, how these are active replied <clears throat> and contacted right so that means I've sent a message to them or they replied to me or maybe I trialed them I showed them that you know these things are all kind of part of the process right and that's kind of how you use it you just use this you just go to this one this one this one this one and the beauty of it is that when you do visit them if I click on one that I haven't in a long time let's go to this one if I click on their name again in this little pop-up this the second uh, time this will take me straight to Facebook right on their profile so I don't have to worry about you know finding them in the group then clicking on their group profile then clicking the three little dots and then clicking on the main profile then I'm there this takes me straight to it straight to their main profile and then I can see whether they're uh, and, and you know what they're doing I can actually comment on these posts I can say I can like this post and then I can say I can I can I'll just love this one uh, apparently it's a funny I, sh I should probably be reading it but I'm just gonna say uh over here I'm going to go wow and that's I'm just going to say amazing I obviously I would normally you know read more and maybe watch a little bit of the videos and stuff to know ex more what this is about but this is kind of yeah, give you an idea so basically I'm going to this profile directly this profile I'm engaging on some posts I just close the tab go back here and I say I come on one post I reacted to three posts and I saved the update so now Steve is showing me that I visited him uh, just now where is the just right here so Shane Larson sorry so just now it does say he's not my target uh, according to my note right here so maybe I shouldn't bother visiting him again but whatever so the idea is you got these notes here that you can actually use as well to identify people that you can or can't comment on right so I mean even though Carlos here has had 68 comments <clears throat> that means that and he doesn't necessarily post on his personal profile that's why I have it like that anyways that whatever that's not the point the point is you get a list you are able to visit the profiles directly you're not slave to Facebook's news feed and you get to choose whose profiles you build engagement with you build that no like trust ladder with right you build this no like trust with them you choose who you build that with and you choose so that you're not always engaging in the same people's stuff because you get a list of thousands of people I mean if I look at if I look at this I can go to the all contacts here and that gives me the list of every single contact that I've ever engaged with in, in the last year or whatever and you can see the in a second when we see the the numbers you're going to see there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot but that's because I've been using the tool for so long and uh it it shows like I think 15,000 or something if I scroll down to the bottom 27,000 look at that 27,000 contacts in my list right here right so I mean that's just insane how many there are now if I uh, exclude the ones that have no that have no um, notes which means you know if I put a note that says I can't comment on their stuff or they're not my target market or they're not English you know whatever notes means to me the notes mean I don't need to bother them then I get 25,000 so so far there's 
2000 that I've kind of excluded but and again you can see that their temperatures hot cold warm right there's all this stuff that you can do with it but the basics of it is you click on their names to go to their profile to engage on their posts tomorrow you choose another different list of people that you haven't visited yesterday or maybe even a week in a week and then you just do that every single day you change who you visit and you're in control of who and you spend like 30 minutes on Facebook that's all you need you don't need to spend four hours a day on Facebook 30 minutes that's enough to engage on 20 different prospects <clears throat> and you're gonna grow your no like trust with those prospects and you decide and they become perfect prospects because they become people who know like and trust you that's what you want you want people who know like and trust you those are the perfect prospects and active group users lets you helps you with the no like trust and that's what you need all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.